Welcome back to Move With Nicole. Today's class is a gentle and feel-good Pilates class. Perfect for those days when you want to move your body, connect with your breath, but in a gentle way. So when you're ready, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start standing at the back of our mat with our feet hip distance apart. Really ground down through your feet and lengthen through your spine. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Then exhale, pull your elbows down wide as you lift up through your chest. Then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your arms, lower your chin and round down over your legs, keeping a soft bend through your knees. Inhale at the bottom. Then exhale, roll up vertebra by vertebra. And again. Inhale, reach your arms up. Then exhale, twist to your left as you open your elbows wide. Inhale, return through center. Exhale, lower your arms, lower your chin and roll down very carefully. Inhale at the bottom. Then exhale, roll up vertebra by vertebra, really articulating through your spine. Last one, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to your right, bend your elbows. Inhale, return through center. Then exhale, release your arms, drop your chin and roll down over your legs. Let's take a nice deep breath at the bottom. Nice inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. From here, walk your hands forward and lower down onto your knees, finding your tabletop position. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. And let's take a few cat cows, but really focusing on starting the movement from our tailbone. So take an inhale to prepare, then on your exhale, tuck your hips under, then round your spine, and then lastly, tuck your chin in towards your chest, gazing towards your belly button. Then on your inhale, starting from your tailbone, shine your sitting bones up to the sky, arch your lower back, then your upper back, and then lastly, lift your chin, taking your gaze forward. And again, on your exhale, tuck your hips under, round your lower spine, your upper back, and then drop your chin. Then inhale, turn your sitting bones up, arch your lower back, your upper back, and then lift your chin. Two more like this. Nice exhale as you round, really articulating through your spine. And then inhale as you arch, opening through your chest. One more. Exhale, round your spine. Then inhale, arch and roll your shoulders back. Beautiful. Find your neutral spine now, so nice flat back and really draw your ribs down towards your hips and lift up through your belly button. Tuck your toes under, press down through your hands and then hover your knees just a few inches off the floor. On your inhale, press back into a downward facing dog, melt your heels down towards the floor and then exhale, shift forward, lower your knees just a few inches off the floor. And again, inhale, press back, downward facing dog. Exhale, shift forward, lower your knees and find that beautiful flat back. Three more, moving with your breath. Really find length through your spine in that hovering tabletop position. Two more. Last one, inhale, press back and exhale, lower your knees. Let's hold here just for a few more counts. Really draw your navel in, press down through your shoulders. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. Good job. Lower your knees, untuck your toes. On your next inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Then exhale, thread your left arm through the right. And again, inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist. Inhale, reach your left arm up one last time 
and then let's switch sides. On your inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, twist and reach your right arm through the left. One more deep breath in, reach your arm up and exhale, twist. Then inhale, reach your right arm up one last time and exhale, release your hand down. Beautiful, let's cross our legs behind us now and come on to our sitting bones with our knees bent in front of us. Holding on to the back of your thighs, take a nice big inhale, then exhale, roll down vertebra by vertebra onto your back. From here, shuffle your heels in towards your glutes and keep your feet hip distance apart. Find your neutral spine position with your ribs lowering down towards your hips and just a little pocket of air between your lower back and the floor. Then reach your arms up to the sky just in line with your shoulders. Take an inhale to prepare and then on your exhale, tuck your hips under, press through your heels and roll your hips up into a bridge position. Inhale, reach your arms back by your ears, lengthen your spine and exhale, lower your hips down vertebra by vertebra. Then inhale, return your arms up to the sky. And again, exhale, tuck your hips under, articulating through your spine, lift your hips up. Inhale, reach your arms back and then exhale, roll your hips down vertebra by vertebra. Then inhale, return your arms up to the sky. Three more. Again, starting the movement from our tailbone, really articulating through our spine. Two more. Exhale, roll up, press down through your heels. Inhale, reach your arms back, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll down. And inhale, lift your arms. Last one, exhale, roll up. And this time, let's hold at the top. On your inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, lower. Eight more like this. Really focus on squeezing your glutes, keeping your hips lifted, but make sure you're maintaining that rib to hip connection. Try to lower your heels down with as much control as you can. Let's do three more. Two. And one. Hold your heels lifted. Inhale, reach your arms back. And then exhale, roll your hips down vertebra by vertebra. Release your arms down by your side now. And just shuffle your feet a few inches forward towards the bottom of your mat. Keeping your knees bent and your feet hip distance apart. Let's now interlace our fingers and place our hands behind our head with our elbows wide. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, curl up, lifting your head and your shoulders. Inhale, lower down, and exhale, curl up. Nice inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth as you lower your ribs down to your hips. So as you lift your head and shoulders up, keep your gaze towards your knees to protect your neck. On every exhale, think of that rib to hip connection and also in flattening through your abdominals. Let's do two more. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. And on the last one, hold your head and shoulders lifted. Take an inhale to prepare. Then exhale, reach your left arm forward and lift your left knee to tabletop. Inhale, return through center. Exhale, reach your right arm forward, lift your right knee. Inhale, return through center. Eight more. Exhale, reach. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, center. Each time that you reach forward, see if you can lift your shoulder blades just that little bit higher off the floor. Really working into your abdominals here. You can do it. Exhale, curl. Inhale, center. Let's do two more. And last one. 
Well done. Hold your head lifted and now lift your legs to a tabletop position with your knees over your hips. Then reach your arms forward by your hips. On your inhale, lower your head, reach your arms up to the sky and then exhale, curl up, keeping your legs in tabletop. And again, inhale, lower down and exhale, curl up. Now stay with this, or if you'd like to add on, inhale, lower your head, tap one toes down towards the floor, and then exhale, curl up. Other side, inhale, lower your head, tap your other toes to the floor, and exhale, curl up. If you want even more, you can also extend your legs straight as you lower, and then pull your knee back in. So inhale as you lower, tap your toes to the floor, or extend your leg, Exhale as you curl up. Keep going. Focus on that rib to hip connection. Make sure that when you lower your head and lower your leg, that you're not flaring through your rib cage. You're doing really well. Take your hands behind your head if you need that extra support. Two more. And last one. Well done. Return your hands behind your head and let's take little pulses to finish. You lift and lift. Nice exhale and exhale. Just six more. Can you curl up a little higher? Four, three, two, and one. Lower your head and hug your knees in. Circle your knees if that feels good for you. And then return your feet to the floor. Shuffle your heels in towards your glutes again with your feet hip distance apart. Then rest your arms down by your side. Tuck your hips under and lift your hips returning to your bridge position. Now feel free to keep your heels flat on the floor here or if you want the challenge, see if you can lift your heels high. On your exhale, lift your right knee to tabletop. Inhale, return the foot down. Exhale, lift your left knee to tabletop. Inhale, lower the foot down. Really try to lower the foot down with as much control as you can. Just two more. And on this last one, hold your right knee lifted. Inhale, lower your hips halfway. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Eight more. Really press down through the ball of your left foot squeezing your left glute as well you can do it four more three two and one beautiful job inhale lower your right foot down then exhale lift your left knee to tabletop inhale lower exhale lift your right knee let's do three more and two and on this last one, hold your left knee lifted and let's repeat. Inhale, lower your hips, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Eight more. Just lowering your hips halfway. You can do it. Really squeeze your right glute, press down through the ball of your right foot. Three more, two, and one. Lower your left foot to the floor. Lift your hips just a little bit higher, squeeze, 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 and then roll your hips down vertebra by vertebra. Well done, hug your knees into your chest just for a moment, and then let's roll onto our side. So lying on the right side of your body, bend your knees at a 90 degree angle with your knees in line with your hips, and rest your head in your hand. Then take your left hand onto your hip and push your hip away from you so that you find a nice lift through the underside of your waist. Then extend your left leg out in line with your hip and place your left fingertips on the floor in front of you. On your inhale, bend your knee, extend your leg forward. Exhale, flex your foot and extend your leg back. Inhale, point your toe, bicycle your leg forward. Exhale, flex and sweep your leg back. Three more in this direction. Really articulating through your leg. We're all about articulating through our body today. And last one. 
Beautiful, let's reverse. Inhale, kick your leg forward, flex your foot. Exhale, bend your knee and extend your leg back. Inhale, kick forward, flex your foot. Exhale, point and bicycle your leg back. Three more. And two. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Last one. Beautiful. Hold your leg back in line with your hip and take circles for 10 and 9. I want you to keep these circles nice and slow and make sure that your leg is lifted at hip height or slightly higher. Just two more and last one. Now reverse for 10 and 9. Keep your core engaged here maintaining that rib to hip connection and try to stay nice and lifted through the underside of your waist. Three more, two, and one. Hold your leg extended and now bend your knee and reach back for the top of your ankle and squeeze your heel in towards your glute. This should feel like a nice stretch for the front of your left thigh. Then extend your leg out again and push yourself up into a mermaid position. On your inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Then exhale, lower your right arm to the floor and stretch your left arm by your ear. One more. Inhale, push yourself up, reach your right arm up. Then exhale, carefully lower and stretch your left arm by your ear. One more big inhale, reach your right arm up and over, and then exhale, release and come through center. Okay, let's swing our legs around and go straight to the other side. So lower down onto the left side of your body, bend your knees at a 90 degree angle so your knees are in line with your hips. Push your top hip away from you with your hand, finding that lift through the underside of your waist, and then extend your right leg out in line with your hip. And then inhale, bicycle your right knee forward, extend your leg, and exhale, flex and sweep your leg back. Inhale, point, bicycle forward, exhale, flex and swing your leg back. Three more. Really articulating each movement here. Last one. And now let's reverse. Inhale, kick your leg forward, flex your foot. Exhale, point and bicycle your leg back. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, bicycle back. Three more. Try not to rock too much through your hips. You really wanna keep your core engaged to keep everything else still. Last one. Beautiful, hold your leg back and let's take those circles. For 10 and 9. Nice and slow circles here, really controlling the movement as best you can. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's reverse. For 10 and 9. Can you lift your leg just that little bit higher? and maybe create a little bit bigger circle. You've got it, keep it nice and controlled. Three more, two, and one. Well done. Let's bend our knee, reach back for our ankle and squeeze our heel in towards our glute for a nice little stretch. Then extend your leg out again and push yourself up into a mermaid position. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Then exhale, carefully lower your left forearm to the floor and reach your right arm by your ear. And again, inhale, push up, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale, lower your left arm to the floor and reach your right arm by your ear. One more big inhale, really stretching through the left side of your body. And exhale, return through center. Okay, let's come into our final section of class. So come onto your hands and your knees and carefully lower down onto the front side of your body. Stack your hands, bending your elbows and rest your forehead on your hands. 
make sure that your feet are hip distance apart in parallel and really drop your ribs to your hips and lift up through your navel. On your inhale, lift your chest off the floor, keeping your forehead rested on your hands and exhale, release down. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, lower. Just three more. As you lift your chest, really think of lifting up through your belly button. Last one. Beautiful. Keep your head rested. On your inhale, lift your left leg straight up. Exhale, flex your foot, squeeze your heel into your glute. Inhale, extend your leg out and exhale, lower the leg. Other side, inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, flex, squeeze your heel into your glute. Inhale, point your toes, extend your leg and exhale, lower. Stay with this or let's add a chest lift. So inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, squeeze your heel into your glute, flex your foot. And then as you inhale and extend your leg, lift your chest and reach your arms back and exhale, release everything back down. Other side, inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, squeeze your heel to your glute. Inhale, extend your leg, lift your chest, reach your arms back and inhale, lower everything down. Keep going. You pick your option here. Keep your head rested if that feels good for you or if you want that extra challenge and extra stretch, you can lift your chest and reach your arms back. This is your workout today, so do what feels best. You're doing really well. Just two more to go. And last one, can you lift your chest a little bit more? Well done. Rest everything down, shimmy your hips a little bit to release any tension. And now let's bend both knees and reach back for our ankles. Flex your feet and then press your feet into your hands to lift your chest off the floor. Then from here, press your heels up to the sky and point your toes, finding your full bow pose. Take deep breaths here, really reaching up through your toes as you expand through your chest. One more deep breath in and then exhale, lower everything down. Well done, release your legs, take your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up and back into a well-deserved child's pose. Take a few deep breaths here just to rebalance your spine after that beautiful back bend. Then very carefully roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra and let's come to a seated position with our legs out in front of us. Extend your right leg, flex your foot and then open your left knee out to the side. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, fold forward. Feeling a beautiful stretch for your spine, for your hips, and for the back of your right leg. Then carefully lift your chest, place your left foot flat on the floor and hug your left knee into your chest. Wrap your right elbow around your left knee Sit up nice and tall, take a big inhale and exhale, twist to your left, looking over your left shoulder. Then carefully unwind and let's switch sides. Extend your left leg, open your right knee, inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Don't worry if your forward fold doesn't look like mine. I just want you to fold forward until you feel a stretch. That's the most important thing. Then carefully lift your chest 
and let's take our right foot flat on the mat and hug our right knee in. Hook your left elbow around your right knee, inhale lengthen your spine and exhale twist over to your right. Keep your left leg engaged and your left foot flexed and really reach up through the crown of your head. Then carefully unwind and let's come to a cross-legged position for my favorite way to finish class. On your inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Then exhale, turn your chest to the floor and swing around to the other side. Inhale here and exhale, come back up. And again, inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale, swing around to the other side. Inhale here and exhale, come back up. Let's do one more in each direction. Really moving and flowing with your breath here. And last one, inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale, swing around to the other side. Inhale and exhale, come up through center. Beautiful. Let's finish class like always now with one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's Feel Good Pilates class. If you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.